If you want to use a twin needle on the Singer Heavy Duty 4411 sewing machine, there's just a few things you need to know. Number one, you, there are all sorts of different sizes of twin needles. This one is actually a 2.0 twin needle. That means that the distance between the two needles are two millimeters apart. On this machine, you could use up to a 4.0, you could put a, a 6.0 twin needle on. I'd say four would be the widest. So we can use twin needles to just be creative and decorative. We can do it with some of the decorative stitches and you can use it for pin tucks and simulating that double row of stitching that you see on the edge of knit fabrics like t-shirts and sweatshirts. So first off, I want you, before you do anything, make sure you go back to a straight stitch and let's just do like a stitch length of two and a half. Make sure your needle's in the center needle position so the width needs to be set at zero. Needle position also in the center. Next, pull out your vertical spool pin. I even have the little uh, felt disc on and slide that up here. We already have a spool of variegated thread in the machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a second color. So I'm just following the same threading path that the first one was. Make sure your presser foot is up when you're threading. And when you get here, make sure you do that little floss back and forth and get those threads all the way deep into the tension. When you put your twin needle on, it'll go on just like a regular needle. And when you do get to threading it, it doesn't matter which thread goes in which needle. So really you're just gonna pick one and get it threaded. So you're kind of just doing everything that you're already used to doing. It's just down here you have two needles instead of one to thread. I'm always a fan of just doing a little testing. You have the threads in the needles correctly before you start changing anything on the machine. So I can see I'm, I'm looking good here. You can go ahead and peek at the back side. Oh, speaking of the back side, let me show you what it's gonna look like on the back of the fabric. You're gonna notice that your bobbin looks like it's zigzagging. And that's true because it's actually having to catch both threads as they come down. So it's gonna look like it's going back and forth. So do start slow. If you are gonna pick a zigzag, don't go too wide just yet. And I would recommend that you always take a couple stitches by hand and make sure that the swing of the needle stay within the opening of the foot before you go zipping off. You can also turn this into, if we shorten the stitch length, we could turn this into like a little satin stitch with these two colors of thread. You kind of notice I'm sewing a little bit slower than if I had only a single needle. I know, I always just take my time. There's a lot going on with both the needles and threads here. So if I was gonna try a decorative stitch, let's go ahead and try a couple of those. Here's one that's always looks good with two threads. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna check the swing of my needle. And it, you're not taking the stitch width all the way as wide as it will go because the needle would go off the edge of the foot. So I'm actually at a stitch width of about three. So with this machine, you can do a stitch width of six millimeters we put a two millimeter needle on. So that would mean that we would want to make sure that we are going to not be past certain numbers there. So kind of do that quick little math if you want. So six minus two, the width would be four or less. But look how much fun you can have with some of those stitches. I was a little longer. Actually, the long one looks good too. And as I shortened it up, you got a different look altogether. Here's where we are doing the zigzag. Here's where we are doing a little bit closer together satin stitch. One side is a solid color, one is a variegated color. So again, try out the different decorative stitches. Make sure you test the swing of the needle. And if you're just doing a simple hem, you're on a straight stitch and stitching from the top of the fabric.